Hi guys, so in a recent video I was talking about the fact that Army Painter are releasing some new war paints soon and the fact that I needed to get a wet palette well, so I can start using some of their paints. But I also mentioned that I like the idea of obviously keeping together a textured palette as well. And that's exactly what I did, I converted the brush holder from my Army Painter sort of wet palette into a textured palette. And I was really pleased with how this came out as it means obviously I've got like a, well, a two-in-one, a good old twofa. But uh, yeah, lots of you lovely guys left loads of comments, uh, which is really nice, because obviously I do have a good old read through the comments. And there was a couple of comments that mentioned that there's actually a, well, like an add-on you can get for your Army Painter wet palette, so you don't have to ruin it. So yeah, a lovely chap, Richard Russell 7082 mentioned he bought one from Etsy. And I thought, well, that sounds like an awesome thing to do. So I'll have a go at making, well, I'll have a go at making my own, really. So guys, always leave comments. I don't always have the time to sort of uh, reply to everything, but I do like reading them all. And yeah, a lot of times I do or make things because of, well, because of what I've read from you guys. So yeah, guys, keep leaving comments. I absolutely love them. So my skills in 3D model making, uh, well, they're pretty much non-existent. The only thing I do like to use is Tinkercad. So it's a free software. Um, it's very limited in what it can do, but for my needs, it's kind of perfect. As in, you can, well, build up shapes and you can add things together. And that's exactly what I've done to make my own sort of like add-on to the, uh, the Iron Painter wet palette. Um, obviously, the face bit I didn't make. Uh, someone else made that for me. But the actual tray, yeah, it's simple enough to make. Um, I didn't video myself making it primarily because I am very slow. Um, even though this software is easy to use, I, yeah, it does take me quite a while to make things. So, but basically, you get obviously a square shape. You can round the corners off adjust the heights and then the good thing here is you can add bits to it and then simply by clicking on both of them join them and then voila you've got added bits so i've taken my little uh, my stl that i saved from here and i took it into the uniformation gk2 as well this is just my go-to printer because it's just glorious and one of the main things i love about this is it's got a heated bed which it means perfectly in well the cold weather we're currently having and the resin I'm using is from Amara Labs. It's their tabletop gaming resin. Um, you've seen me use this before, and it's just amazing on, well, miniatures because of the flex it gives. So there's no more worrying about parts breaking, falling off, cracking, all the rest of it. So yeah, this is an awesome resin, which I'm gonna be using for, well, pretty much everything I kind of make for the moment. So yeah, popping some of that in the old GK2. And then it simply is a case of pushing a few buttons. Um, if you guys want me to do a full in-depth video on, well, 3D printing, by all means let me know and yeah, I'll do just that. But it really is nice and simple, few buttons pushed here and there, and bosh, away it goes. So I don't really have the right stuff to do time-lapse photography, uh, or videography, so I've just used a normal camera and then just sped the thing up something wrong. As you can see, I've set my thing to print out vertically. Uh, normally I wouldn't do this. I've only done this purely so I can get some, well, some kind of footage of this printer working. Uh, just because, as I say, I've had a printer for about the last three years and I still think it's amazing that you can just think of something, build something, and then go and print it out. Um, yeah, I truly am a kid in a, well, a kid factory. Been able to do whatever I want. The other great thing about the GK2 is a nice quick release thing at the top. So no more unscrewing screws and yet this you can see you can do it just one hand. And yet it's come out perfectly. I say even though I have mounted this in a way, well, I wouldn't normally, yet it's come out beautifully. As you can see, I'm still wearing gloves until I've uh, cleaned and cured this as obviously there's a lot of resin still, well, floating around on it. So using the ultrasonic resin cleaner, um, a lovely bit of kit. I say this is all from Uniformation. So yeah, go and check out them guys, there's definitely links down below. As this is a great time to be looking at buying a printer, as they are doing a Halloween sale at the moment, which is just awesome. As from what I've seen from other YouTubers' online videos, yeah, this is definitely one of the top printers out there. Um, as well as obviously the bits that come with it. So it's, it's had a little wash now, but now it needs curing just to sort of, well, firming up the, uh, the plastic or whatever it does. I don't really know, to be honest. But yeah, it goes in here um, and yeah, this cures it. And then you can basically then handle it with your hands, which is obviously what we want. So I will admit it did take me a couple of tries to get the exact right size to fit. Uh, but as you can see, so there's the old one. Yeah, out with that, in with the new one, which I think obviously looks a lot better because it's got my ugly mug on it. Um, and yeah, it's a lot sort of thinner and definitely a lot lighter. The other one is quite chunky. Because there's a lot of bits on there and a ton of sand. 
and yeah this one fits like a glove um, yeah really pleased how this came out um, and if I'd known I probably wouldn't have uh, made the other one I would have kept it as the brush holder and I would just would have printed out one of these for myself but guys if you want to get hold of one of these they are on my patreon page um, there's also a sort of not competition but I'm giving this one away um, and yeah if you win this you will get the, uh, the 3d printed one I've just made as well as the other one that I sort of well kit bashed or scratch built whatever it is so yeah guys there's a video at the end of this screen go give that a click to the original video I did where I made the textured palette as I say I'm giving that one away um, so yeah you got a chance of winning that you know, all you got to do is leave well leave a comment really just so I know who, who's got a chance of winning it so yeah I've painted mine or well, primed mine in black just because well I like things to look nice and neat and tidy and I've got these big large round holes on the side here and basically there because the, uh, you put the paint in them so whatever paint you're using to do the dry brushing with put it in those nice flat areas and then you can obviously rub the thing all over my face and obviously the reason we do this is to get most of the paint off but the other good thing with the, uh, the textured palette is you can see just when there's enough paint on your brush to do well what it is you need to do and there we go I really like how this came out but obviously this one that I've sort of made is as a well a replacement to the the brush one that was there so I had to change it a little bit um, just so I could make it so it would fit over the brushes so that's exactly what I did uh, obviously in my case it won't fit over well the textured one because well it's, it's textured but uh, yeah so there, there are a couple of files over on my patreon page and as you see this one's got a different underneath so it will go over the army paint a sort of like um, little divider there that does contain or can hold the brushes so yeah these two are a little bit different uh, not by much um, yeah so it's just that little bit where it'll go one goes over something and one goes well one goes in something um, yeah all makes sense clear as mud yeah lovely um, you guys I'm sure you know exactly what I mean even if sometimes my brain and mouth don't quite communicate and get the words out so yeah so on my patreon page there's definitely the two bits but then I kind of thought, well, as I'm giving away my paint palette, I kind of need one. And then I thought, yes, well, 3D print it. <laughs> so that's exactly what I've done. And again, this file, yeah, this will be over on Patreon. So you can 3D print out the uh, the bottom part, which can contain the wet palette. Obviously, you need to go out and buy your own sort of sheets to go in there. And then you've got my top bit that goes over, well, up the top. And I just love how it all looks. As one thing I'm always saying to you guys is I have, well, I have no space for a lot of stuff. So having the old Tufa, the old Tufa one here, in one sort of nice, compact, neat looking thing is just ideal as, yeah, textured dry brush palette and wet palette all in one. There is a video coming up soon, guys, to where I first made the uh, the textured palette out of the uh, the brush holder. So go check that out. Um, so all you need to do is, well, leave your name down on that video, hit the like button, and then when it reaches a thousand likes, which I think it's over halfway of um, yeah I'm gonna give it away to one of the people who leaves a comment the video is now on the screen so give that a click big shout out thank you to my lovely patrons as well as all my monthly sponsors for helping keep the channel going don't forget to like share subscribe and definitely leave comments down below guys as I say I do read them even if I don't always respond to them I do like reading what you say and yeah sometimes I'll have a go at whatever it is you say okay bye now